हेलो वेलकम बैक टू प्रतीक एकेडमी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज मीन बाय फ्लूड टर्बो मशीन्स एंड हाउ टू चेक अ मशीन वेदर इट इज फ्लूड टर्बो मशीन और नॉट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अ बेसिक इक्वेशन व्हिच इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर ऑल रोटोडायनामिक मशीन्स दैट इज यूलर्स इक्वेशन Euler's equation or some can say Euler's equation. So this equation is simply Newton's second law of motion applied for no sorry applied for rotating bodies or machines. so what is newton's second law of motion it simply rate of change of linear momentum is proportional to force acting on that body here we take proportionality constant as one so we are directly applied equal to sign that is rate of change of momentum means mv minus mu momentum is mass into velocity upon time is equal to force therefore force comes therefore force comes m upon t sorry m into v minus u upon t that is force is equal to nothing but mass into acceleration so this is for linear motion and we are going to study rotating bodies a uh, rotating bodies so let's check what is the similar terms in linear motion and angular motion linear and angular motion in linear motion we have linear displacement in angular motion we have angular displacement in linear there is a linear velocity x dot in angular we have angular velocity x dot in linear we have force equivalent to that in angular we have term torque in linear we have mass in angular we have mass moment of inertia okay in linear we have linear momentum in angular we have angular momentum so first check what is exact angular momentum angular momentum angular momentum is nothing but moment of linear momentum so what is linear momentum mass into velocity is linear momentum into perpendicular distance from center then we get moment of linear momentum and that is nothing but angular momentum so newton's second law of motion for rotating bodies will be here rate of change of instead of linear we will say we will write angular momentum is proportional to instead of force equivalent is torque so newton's law or euler's equation is rate of change of angular momentum is nothing but torque applied on that body or machine now consider we have velocity which is in 3d in space so it has three dimensions this is say our cube in which this Suppose this is the core velocity, 
which is having which is in space so it is having three components one this one this and one this perpendicular components now when this when water or any fluid with this velocity strikes on a rotor then in 2d we can represent that by in two views for simplicity suppose this is a rotor and this is the axis option if this rotor is rotating in this direction in front view then this can be shown here as this let's say omega is the angular velocity of rotor then these three components can be represented at this point as suppose this is your 3d velocity v then two components can be represented here okay. one component is represented in top view like this so this velocity has three components one component is along this axis and is called as axial component of velocity and one component which is towards center or along the center is called as radial component okay. and one component which is tangent at this point to circle it is called as tangential component okay tangential components let's check what are the effects of these three components on rotor our rotor is on a shaft which is fixed in or which is supported by bearings at the ends this is the supporting then this radial component when act in this direction okay then it will cause bending of this shaft so our radial component is responsible for bending of shaft okay second component is axial component this will act in axial direction then rate of change of momentum in axial direction will responsible for axial thrust then last component which is acting in this tangential direction here in this tangential direction so it will responsible for rotation any momentum change in this direction will responsible for rotation so tangential component is responsible for rotation and hence power generation from your rotor again these two components radial and axial is is representing flow through turbine so these are represented by both this by symbol vf and tangential component is responsible for whirling of your rotor whirling or rotation so it is represented by vw now when we say power generation therefore in euler equation in euler equation we are interested to find out torque and this torque is produced by this tangential component so we are considering change of angular momentum in tangential direction only so it can be modified as rate of change of angular momentum in tangential direction is proportional to torque applied by fluid on rotor now Now consider we have a rotor. Consider we have a rotor. 
of radius r and water is coming at radius r1 having tangential component vw1 and leaving at a distance r2 with again see, this is the r2 distance which suppose again having tangential component vw2 and this rotor is rotated in this direction with angular velocity omega then torque by Euler's equation by Euler's equation torque is nothing but rate of change of angular momentum in tangential direction so we have first then what is angular momentum it is momentum of linear momentum sorry moment of linear momentum so final momentum is m v w sorry initial momentum is m v w1 its distance is r1 so initial angular momentum is m v w1 r1 minus final will be m v w2 r2 and its rate so divide by time then is equal to mass comes out by outside m by t v w1 r1 minus v w2 r2 so it becomes m dot v w1 r1 v w2 r2 in torque then this is the torque developed by machine then what is the power developed by machine so power is nothing but torque into omega in angular motion so it will come mass to vw1 r1 minus vw2 into omega so it will come m into vw1 r1 omega vw2 vw2 sorry r2 omega so it will come as m dot into vw1 r1 minus r1 into omega is linear velocity at initial point minus vw2 v2 so power developed by machine or power given by water or given by fluid to machine is given by m dot vw1 v1 minus vw2 u2 in general we can write this equation as plus or minus when when this vw1 and omega is in same direction take this or vw2 as a plus then difference will be minus sign and difference will be this minus sign if this vw1 and vw is in opposite direction this vw2 will be minus 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 plus okay this will be clear in your velocity diagrams of pumps and turbines okay so this is the basic euler's equation which is applicable for each and every roto dynamic machines so let's recap in short euler's equation Okay. Euler's equation is nothing but Newton's second law of motion applicable for rotating bodies. So its statement is rate of change of angular momentum is equal to torque. Then we have seen velocity in space has three components, but only tangential component is responsible for rotation or power generation. Hence we take rate of change of angular momentum in tangential direction only. And it's next we have derived the equation as we derived this equation suppose vw1 is initial tangential component vw2 is final component then by Euler's equation we derive this equation for torque generation then next torque is nothing but sorry power is nothing but torque into omega so we get final equation Thank you for this video, watching this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe our channel Pratik Academy Racing Pool. Again, if you have any suggestions, then please mail to us or 
message or call to us. Thank you.